Have you ever thought about what happens when you die? Stay tuned in for our five minute spirit reboot. Joining me today is Miss Tia Renee, host of her YouTube channel, where she interviews people about their near death experiences. Welcome, Miss Tia. Thank you for having me. I'm so blessed to be here with you. Laura. It's a pleasure. You had me on your show and I thought it was a fascinating subject. Tell me a little bit more about it. Yeah, so I interview people who've had near-death experiences or other spiritually transformative experiences, shared death experiences. Always the goal is try to show that we are eternal spiritual beings, that death doesn't truly exist as we have been taught in our lives, and that we continue to go on. Our loved ones are not lost. It's very uplifting. What's your favorite story so far? Oh, gosh, I don't have one story that I favor over the others, but... If I had to just talk about one, there was a story of a lady, her brother died, and then a few days later, he came to her and took her across the veil because she was in such deep mourning and showed her where he was and how beautiful it was. And she came back with such peace and understanding and just a whole paradigm shift. She was happy again. It was like she was cured from her grief. Not all the way, of course she missed him, but she was cured of that deep, dark grief that death can give us when we lose a loved one. That's yeah, so true. You know, you had a very interesting story which led you down this path. Would you please give our audience some insight? Yeah, so briefly, my husband was murdered 20 years ago. As he was dying in the hospital, I had a shared death experience with him. And afterwards, I started having out-of-body experiences as well. And I didn't know what was happening to me. I consulted with a spiritual church and they told me, what was happening i never heard of near-death experience i never heard of shared death experience i never heard of anything spiritual like that right i was just very cookie cutter american <laughs> born and raised christian i just had my belief in the bible and that was it i didn't question anything right so i was in this such deep despair when he died mm -hmm. and he was my best friend and it was so sudden one day here and one day gone and then i think that he was trying to you know help heal me help show me and that was the beginning of my spiritual journey, which led me to this podcast, which I had a calling for. So it was like, now I understand why all of those mm. bad things had to happen to me mm. because I was meant to do this podcast. I was meant to help other people with the same kind of problems that I was having. But yeah, he showed me that there is no true death. For those out there who have never heard of shared death experiences, could you elaborate? So a shared death experience is when you have some sort of experience with someone at the point of them dying. At some point in time, someone on earth in this plane, in the physical realm, is experiencing what that person is going through as they're dying. I mean, obviously, you are not the dying person. It's not like a near-death experience. There's nothing going on with your brain. There's no DMT, nothing like that. So I think that's very validating in that you actually are experiencing something that's beyond this realm that can't be medically explained in any way, shape, or form. It's the soul connection. It's the soul connection. Right. Exactly. It's, what's your biggest takeaway for everybody listening in? <laughs> <laughs> that we are never going to die. Uh, yes. Live your life in the fullest. Go out and do the things that you want to do. If you want to go skydiving, go skydiving because worst case scenario your body dies only and your soul is going to exist forever if we continue living in fear we're never going to live to our fullest potential there's no death your reason is my reason why i do what i do because there's no point sitting down there and doing nothing with that precious life of yours share with everybody how they can find you miss tia yeah so my youtube channel is called tia renee t-i-a R-E-N-E-E, -E -E. or I'm on Facebook as well, Tia Renee. And I post all of my videos on my YouTube channel right now. In the future, I'll have some more platforms, but right now it's just YouTube. So that's the best right. place to find me. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with everybody out there today. It was a pleasure. The pleasure was all mine, Laura. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And if you would like to hear more Five Minutes Fair Reboots here on Radio Medium. Like it. Please share it with other people. We'd appreciate that. And remember, you can tune into your spirit each and every day by subscribing to the podcast on your favorite forum. Thank you.